When you have this skill set, folks, I want you to understand what I'm about to say, and I'm going to close this video. When you learn this skill set, it removes fear. It removes fear of missing out. It removes the fear and anxiety of failing. But it also removes the fear of inflation. Because this skill set will always outpace inflation. I don't care if gas is $20 a gallon. I'm, I'm going to drive my Corvettes. <laughs> I have eight cylinder Corvettes that I absolutely will not leave parked. I will drive them and I will enjoy them. I don't care. Gas can be whatever it wants to be. It's a write off for me. Okay. I don't care how much food is going to cost. I hope I, I can continuously find it, but I'm not worried about what my utility bills are going to cost. I don't worry about what things are going to cost that skill set that you're learning here. It aids in that. It helps in that. Notice I'm not promising you get rich. Notice I haven't said that. Because I don't want you coming to my channel thinking I'm promising you to get rich. But I am promising you a skill set that offers the opportunity to do limitless, limitless feats and wonders. And it's only limited by your imagination. How much work are you going to put into it? How much work have you put into it? Who are you allowing to influence you and discourage you, distract you? Are you seeing results? Am I proving this stuff works? Do you feel scammed? Or do you feel energized and thankful that you're part of a community like we have here that's thriving? It's energetic. They're happy. They're uplifted. They encourage one another. And everyone here knows that they're not being taken for a ride. There's no upsell coming. Doesn't that feel good? It frees you up to just concentrate on learning. There's no angle. There's no sales pitch coming. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that cool? That's like the the point is is you're you're in a community that we're all trying to help one another. And all I'm trying to be is the captain of the team and just lead you in the right direction and hopefully avoid the pain and struggles that I went through. If you're on the fence and you think somebody can influence you to talk you out of doing this or not using what it is I've taught, you're not my audience. You're not a student. You're just a casual observer. And you're never going to make it in any trading whatsoever because you're too influenced by other people. Someone that has been in my study, in my mentorship, in my teachings and lectures for at least three months, they've seen enough this year to know that there's there's absolutely something here that is worthwhile. It can be exploited in the marketplace. It's there, it's a real edge. It repeats, it's algorithmic, it's not random, and it's time specific so that way you know when you're gonna be operating. Think about this. All these businesses that are brick and mortar, okay, like a storefront, you go in there and you buy your shoes, buy your clothes. How do they know when when sales are going to come in? They have sales reports and, ten, and trends where certain times of the day, on certain days of the week, this is where we have a rush of customers usually. But there's no real guarantee that that's going to happen. You don't know if there's going to be customers coming into your business. In this business I've laid out for you, I give you a business plan. Every single day, you're looking at the market between 8.30 and 11. That's your storefront hours. There's your business hours, okay? It's not a full day, and you're looking for something to happen. You're waiting for a customer to come through the door. That means you're watching to see when liquidity is getting taken, okay? They took something off the rack, they're interested. Okay, you're standing at the register to make sure that sale's done. But they might change their mind. The market might run off, and they may put it back on the rack and leave. It's the same thing with this business. But you have to be there. You have to be in front of the market waiting for that opportunity. You got to be you have to have the store open or you're not going to make the sale. Every other business out there, 
They have all this overhead, all these costs, all these requirements for employees. You're the boss, you're the employee, you have operating hours. It's very easy, 8.30 to 11, boom, done. If a customer doesn't walk through the door, that means the setup doesn't come in, guess what? You didn't have to work hard for that day. You just had to be there. You had to have the doors open, the lights on. And that's sometimes what trading's like. Just because your ass sits down in front of your computer doesn't mean you're gonna trade. The market doesn't owe you that. This is bullshit, man. I've been sitting here. It better give me an FVG. It better give me a fair value. It better. Somebody's ass is in a sling if it don't give me an FVG. <laughs> it's funny reading some of you guys. Your expectations and entitlements are ridiculous. It's funny, entertaining as shit, but it's unrealistic. It's crazy. But that's what trading's like sometimes. You could be ready to do it. And I'm not ready to do it. And you got to be okay with that. And no, guess what? Your model ain't broken. Your threshold, your five handles, is not too much. It's going to give it to you, just not that day or that session. Don't want to trade in the morning? Do you think it's too much volatility and uncertainty? Okay, no problem. Wait until after lunch. Use the PM session stuff I've given you. There's a lot of times the last 90 minutes of trading, that's the easy stuff. Because you can see what it's done in the morning, all that uncertainty, the bias is still in play, and the higher time frame daily chart is going to lead you to what? Where is it growing to? And usually the last 90 minutes, the 60 minutes, the algorithms really kick in, market on close orders, start piling in, and boom, you get this real nice, easy, you know, predictable market environment where liquidity is ran to. That could be your model. That could be your five handles. I wanted to have this conversation with you to kind of like align your mindset with now you have this skill set. You have this model. What do you do with it? Don't go out there thinking that you have to do above average returns or superhuman or Olympic level feats because that's what it feels like in our community sometimes. It feels like everybody is expected to do ICT level precision, in and out, buy, long, sell, short, all the same day. That's not, I, I'm your teacher. I don't expect you to do that. That's not realistic, that's not reasonable. What I believe you should be doing is taking an inward look at how you have to live. Because the way you live is not the same way I live. And 20 students of mine, they're gonna have a amazing contrast between what they have to have each month in some countries very little is required but where they're at that little bit is a lot and what they see is potential in the marketplace would literally make them kings or queens immediately in other places like in the united states where everything's extremely expensive it takes a whole lot to elevate ourselves up to a point of influence but if affluence is your goal, then obviously I've given you enough to get that. You have to submit to the time to get to it. But having these unrealistic expectations and high lofty profit objectives that you have to do every single day, every single week, come on. Nobody told you you had to do that. I didn't tell you you had to do that. 